Hi, welcome back to 10 in 10. This is the show where we try to get through 10 education technology topics in 10 minutes. So today, today we're doing 10 awesome math websites. These are 10 awesome math websites. Let's see if we can get through them in 10 minutes. These are for our math teachers. And actually, some of our students might want to explore these as well. So let's go to our first one. And that's one of my favorite websites. It's Thinkfinity. It looks really boring. You sit there and you're like, oh my goodness, that doesn't look exciting at all. But there are tons and tons and tons of lessons in Thinkfinity. And what's neat about Thinkfinity is Thinkfinity is an aggregate site where they take lessons from all different really good sources. And so, for instance, they'll take sources from the Smithsonian Institution, from National Geographic, from Read, Write, Think, from Arts Edge, all different really cool, really well done websites. And they have interactives, they have lesson plans, all kinds of things to get your students interested. I found that these things on Thinkfinity, I get confused which way to go, these things on Thinkfinity actually uh, are great for after school activities, these lesson plans for students. So. Uh, they're K to 12, and so uh, all of our students in math can do it. And here's the website. It's really easy to remember, thinkfinity.org, thinkfinity.org. So let's look at our next one. Our next one is Illuminations. Illuminations, that's actually one of the sites that you'll find on Thinkfinity. But the Illuminations has tons and tons and tons of interactives. And those interactives allow you, you can put them up on your interactive whiteboard. If you're sharing on your iPad, you can shoot it out to your students on some of those programs like Nomia on your interactive whiteboards. Tons and tons of these brain teasers, games, lots and lots of stuff that you can use with your students. You can see right there on that, uh, that screen, you can look on the right, you can pick the the topic, you can type in what you're looking for and then pick the grade level that goes with it. So Illuminations, Resources for Teaching Math, a great website. It's from the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics. There's the website, illuminations.nctm.org. Great website, great website. This next one, we've got lots of STEM people in our district. STEM's a big, big uh, buzzword right now in education. And this is an interesting website, especially for our teachers. This is called Change the Equation. And what this website is, not so much teaching tools, things like this, but this is where the discussion about STEM education takes place. And so Change the Equation is a whole website. So if you're not up to speed on STEM education, you're not quite sure, what are they talking about? I hear STEM all the time. I'm not sure what that's all about. This website, Change the Equation, is the website to go. It's kind of like a clearinghouse of information about STEM education. And the website is changetheequation.org. Real easy to remember, changetheequation.org. OK, our next website is Econ Ed Link. Now, one of the things that, uh, another one of the uh, topics that we talk about a lot in education is that our students don't know a lot about economics, so our students don't know a lot about um, how to control finances, things like that. EdCon Link is a great website to teach those concepts for our students. And they have lesson plans that match in economics along with your math lessons, your regular math lessons. So they have websites, uh, they have uh, websites for students, they have websites for teachers, they also have websites just for the general uh, population on economics. So this is a really great website to go to and the link for that one is edcon, uh, econedlink.org, econedlink.org. Really great website if you want to teach your students about economics. One of my favorite websites, I keep popping this one up because it's always one of my favorites, is iTunes U. If you type in mathematics or algebra or geometry in iTunes U, you'll find tons and tons and tons of information. iTunes U is a great source. They have entire courses, entire courses on topics on algebra, geometry, math from K to 12 to, to university level stuff. If you've got iTunes on your laptop, if you've got iTunes on your, uh, on your iOS device, you have access to iTunes U. And all the great thing about it is all this stuff is free. It's in its entire courses. And so it's not just like a bunch of videos. It's entire courses. It includes the syllabi, all the handouts, everything like that. You can find those on iTunes U. All right, our next place is onlinemathlearning.com. This is a great site because what it has is some, sometimes it's kind of hard for us to find uh, websites that work well with our uh, elementary students. Math is really good. You can find lots of websites from uh, middle school and high school, but for elementary, it's kind of hard. 
OnlineMathLearning.com has tons and tons of resources for elementary students mathematics. So these are great uh, websites for, uh, let's go back real quick to that one. Yeah, that's a great website. Lots of, lots of games that, uh, that students can play. This is great for after school activities or for uh, some kind of um, activities if students aren't understanding particular topics. This is a way to go. Online learning, onlinemathlearning.com. The website is, we flashed that up earlier, onlinemathlearning.com. Real easy to get to. You might have to li live with some advertisements on there, but once you go through that, it's okay. All right, let's find what else we got. Gaming in education is a big deal. It's like how they gamify, because uh, kids love video games. So how do you take video games that aren't just real simple, simple, click one here, click, click, click kind of video games, and how do you make that interesting, especially for our middle school students and our high school students? Lure of the Labyrinth is a great, great online game where students have to solve math equations to move through the labyrinth. And it's great for educators. It's it's uh, kids really get sucked into the storyline. It's just like a video game. It's just like a regular video game that they would play on their PlayStation or their Xbox, but they are learning math while they're doing it. Lure the Labyrinth, and the website for that is labyrinth.thinkport.org, and that's probably uh, targeted toward our middle school students. All right, another website that doesn't look like it's very interesting because it's kind of boring but it's called Math Open Reference. And what Math Open Reference has is it has links to uh, courses all about math. So if your students aren't understanding what you're saying in class, if they're going, ah, oh, man, I don't understand, send them over here. See if they, can, if they can figure out some of the things in plane geometry, trigonometry, calculus, all those things. They've got a whole bunch of math lessons that are very interesting. It's not, it's not boring type of math lessons. And so the website looks boring, but it's kind of like a whole, it's like an online textbook. It's an online textbook that has interactives and things like that, mathopenreference.com. Great site. OK, our next website is Mathematics for Students. This is great. This is another one of those websites that aggregate all kinds of things, but it's a blog site from a, a mathematics teacher. And what she does is she goes out and finds tons and tons of math-related websites, and she highlights them in her website. So if you're not reading somebody's blog site and you're a math teacher, Mathematics for Students is a great place to start. So you can see that this one here, she put it up on March 23rd, was the Desmos slideshow on how to use a graphing calculator. And so she go, went out and grabbed that from like SlideShare or something like that. The website for Mathematics for Students is, we shortened it, it's bit.ly slash 1jl6jqp. It's a, it's a longer, longer website. We couldn't fit it all on the, on the screen, so we shortened it down. So we'll come back to that, but it's bit.ly bit slash 1jl6jqp. Okay, there'll be a quiz on that later. The last website we're looking at today is Hippocampus. If you're a science teacher or a math teacher, well, we're doing all math, so let's just talk about math here. Hippocampus is a great website. Tons and tons of really interesting interactives for students that they can, uh, they can listen to, that explains uh, science concepts, really good uh, videos. They keep it up to date. It's from the, uh, it's from the NROC, and that stands for the National uh, something online something collection national I forget what the R stands for but that's you can see right there on the right hand side that they've got collections from all over the place the Khan Academy what they do is they aggregate them all into a single space and if you're a teacher what's really cool about hippocampus is that they align these lessons to whatever textbook you're using from all the major uh, textbook publishers all right, let's go through and see how to get there. It's hippocampus.org. That'll get you there. It's a great place to go explore. Have your students explore. You don't even have to do it. Just tell your students to go there and find out something about algebra. OK, so here are the three, the 10 that we went through today. Thinkfinity, Illuminations, Change the Equation, Econ Ed Link, iTunes U, Online Math Learning, Lure of the Labyrinth, Math Open References, Mathematics for Students, and Hippocampus. And those are the 10 at in 10, and we made it. See you next time on 10 in 10.